This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. Women are taught or even um, encouraged by other women to believe that they can find this man that does not really exist, right? So this man that has expendable income that he can just take them on, you know, <laughs> excursions and getaways. And um, he has, he's cultured. He is able to, um, you know, go into a boardroom and carry himself in, in a way that is able to get deals on the table. Like they've been taught to believe that like, combination of jay-z and warren buffett and like (laughs) (laughs) is out there waiting on them and this man does not exist and that's the problem i think you know especially the social media narrative is pushing this like wait you know if he's not treating you this if he's not buying you this he's not worth it and it's like who are these who are y'all gonna be waiting and it's not he's Mm -hmm. not out there or they're gonna be getting the fakes or they're going to get scammed. Yep. They're going yep, to get scammed. Yep. So who do you think told this lie? Well, I think social media tells the lie now. Now, but before. Social media tells a lie. But I think, I think what happened is like women in my parents' generation, we saw them. They, they could not work. A lot of them could not work or they didn't have the skills to work outside of like being, uh, take, being domestics, right? So they were at the mercy of their husbands, which is a horrible place to be yeah. right? because then there was a lot of de- abuse and men were taking advantage of that. So then my generation came, we were like, Oh, I don't want to be that. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to earn on my own. So then we started doing that. So you see that there there's a, uh, the feminist movement happened and women started doing more, becoming more educated. And in some places really have surpassed men when it comes to education. Right. And that's because anything that's oppressed especially us yeah. as people of color, we're going to rise to it. So when that happened, then our daughters saw that, right? So then <laughs> mixed with a little bit of toxicity <laughs> and then you had the city girls, right? <laughs> and it, it's a little sprinkle. Yeah. A little sprinkle. And it becomes like, I don't need a man unless he's paying. And it, it just, it, but it all came from, there's a trajectory of toxic relationships, dysfunction, oppression, Women being oppressed, not wanting to deal with that, and then it being not being addressed in a there's not a lot of fathers in the house at one point mm-hmm. where fathers were taken from the home. So there's no one to say, Hey, we're people too, right? And so now you have a generation of women who see men as uh ATM machine. Yeah. Right. I I mean, I agree. Um the thing is, you know, they, they have that old saying, um, teach the teach history so it doesn't repeat itself. Right. But I actually like came to this conclusion and I'm not saying that this applies all the time. Right. But maybe you shouldn't because we teach history and all it does is bring forth the same situation or a traumatic response to a situation. Um, Because we teach history and we tell people what happened and you know, the reasons why it happened, Mm -hmm. but we never told people how to deal with what happened. Look, here's the reality, fellas. Things are not going to get better when it comes to women. You have social media out here that are influencing women. And the reality is a king can easily replace a queen. Because to become a king, a man have to go through so much just to become king status that he become a prize because he put in the work to become that. So once he's in that position, he could easily pick out, he could turn a pawn like an average chick, a chick who working at McDonald's. If she's beautiful enough, he could turn her into a queen. However, for a woman, it don't work that way. A woman can't easily find a king. It's hard. And the problem is most of these women in their brain, they think that they could find a king. So instead of them looking themselves in the mirror and understanding where they are in life, they get influenced by social media and they live a lie. So you have a bunch of these women out here who are single, lonely, bitter, and then they're going to influence 
the younger generation with the same mindset, all because they fail to apply themselves to become virtuous women to be able to attract a king. You see what I'm saying? But the sad part about it is these women don't work on themselves. They don't do anything to improve who they are, but they want to be able to get a man who is going to spend money on them. They want to be able to get that type of guy. And that's the problem with society these days, bro. It's all about a bunch of women who don't qualify to get a king, but in their brain, they think they deserve a king. So they navigate through life with that mindset. And those are the women who become birds. And it's sad.